Hello, welcome to morebikes.co.uk. We're here on the Triumph stand at the NEC for Motorcycle Live. A uh, lot of activity around the Triumph stand, especially around the new range. So you've got your T120, Bonneville, you've got your Thruxton R, and you've got your Street Twin. They're all different takes on the same sort of thing, really. Easy going cruisers, a bit sporty, easy entry into the market if you're that way inclined. But you don't really want to know what we think about it because we've already told you about this on more bikes over the past few months at the Milan show and at the Triumph launch. So I've grabbed this guy, Paul, Paul Armand. Uh, he's a, uh, a biker of 50 years, I think we were just saying, weren't we? It's 48, isn't it, I think? 48 years he's been riding bikes, and I'm just curious to know what Paul thinks about these bikes. So, Paul, let's start with this range, this whole range here. What do you think to them as, a, as, a, as, a, as an experienced biker yourself? I think they're excellent, absolutely excellent. What is it about them that appeals to you? Um, they're retro, but not. In terms of, so they've got enough tech on them for you, yeah, haven't I they? I think so. Well, it may be too much for me, but... Uh, really? Uh, that's yeah. interesting. That's yeah. Interesting do, they, do they really need the engine modes? Is there that much power that you can get into trouble? Well, Triumph is saying there's a lot more torque on bikes, especially like the Thruxton and yeah, the T120. Like torque. torque is very good. But the engine modes will help you ride it in when it's, when it's slippery. I'm thinking for riders who perhaps aren't as experienced. ABS is an essential anyway, I think. That's definitely... What do you reckon to Triumph doing the, the route that they've done? Because they, uh, with a street twin, they're trying to bring people into the, yep. into the market. That's a good starting point. Yeah. Good starting point, yeah. The customising of it, do you think that's a good way to go as well? Well, Yamaha are um, uh, very successful at that, aren't they? With the XSR and things like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly that, yeah. The Triumph T120, the new Bonneville, it's got the engine mods to make sure it's Euro 4 compliant, mm -hmm. but it's also got the looks. Has yeah. it been updated enough for you? You know, somebody who's on the stand right now, do you like the look of it? I love the look of it. I'll let you know when I've ridden it, which I will be doing. <laughs> We've got to ride them, but uh, yeah, I think that's, that, that's the one for me in, in the range. What, the T120? Yeah. Which, which one are we looking at here? Oh, that's not the black, is it? That's the T120 no, with the like candy. That, like that. that one. The, 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 red, the red and silver. The red and silver one. Yeah, okay. The Thruxton R. Now, that's getting a lot of interest. Um, we've heard today that they've taken something like 300 sales already, um, free sales for the Thruxton R. Doesn't surprise me at all. I think, personally, it's a gorgeous-looking bit of kit. Yeah. But from your point of view, somebody who's ridden lo lots of different bikes, been there and done it, yeah. what do you make of that? Fabulous, but it's probably going to be a bit expensive for me. Um, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm wondering if the high-tech suspension goes with the retro looks, really. Um, possibly the, the, the straight Thruxton may be a better bike from um, fork gators, standard forks, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. But uh, for someone who really wants to put some down, I would imagine the suspension will go a long way to helping them do that. It's an interesting point that you make, that the Thruxton R might be a bit too much, but can you see that appealing to a sector who perhaps wouldn't have looked at Thruxton before? I certainly do. People are getting off of... Um, fast Japanese bikes would probably want the extra tech in the suspension. Whereas, but me being a traditionalist, I, I like the rubber gaiters, so that, that yeah, reminds me of when I was 17. Completely fair enough with that. Now we see you've got a Moto Guzzi Club GB yep. shirt on, so what do you ride yourself? I'm assuming it's a Guzzi. Yeah, Moto Guzzi Brevery 1100. Uh, beautiful motorcycle. Fabulous. How long have you had that? Uh, th uh, two years, nine months or something like that. Nearly three years. Oh, coming up for a change soon, sir. No, 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 no. It's a keeper. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, add to it then. Add, add, keep that bike and add to it with another exactly one. Exactly that, yeah, exactly that. I've add got to get that past the wife, of course. Well, of course, I and mean, we will have to get that, get that sort of out of the way, don't we? That, uh, jump that hurdle. So out of this range here, if we were just playing Devil's Advocate and it was a bit of a fantasy pick list, what would you go for out of this, these new range of Triumphs that you've seen? Depending on after a test ride, either the T120 or the Thruxton. Brilliant. And from your point of view, you think Triumph are going down the right route Excellent. with these? Excellent. Wonderful. Yep, they've got two distinct ranges, haven't they? Modern and retro modern. Yeah. Fabulous. And of course you get the Triumph name and the heritage on there. Exactly that. No better badge. Brilliant. Well, look, I'll let you go on, uh, carry on and go sit on all these okay. bikes, mate. Thanks for talking to us, Paul. Really appreciate You're welcome. it. welcome. Thank you, Tony. See Cheers, you, Paul. There you go. Then that's Paul Armand, his view on the uh, Triumphs. You heard it from the man himself. This is the right way for Triumph to go. Much interest in the new range. The T120, the Street Twin, and of course the Thrux and I here on the Triumph stand. Come down to Motorcycle Live where you can see them all this weekend. But stay tuned for more from morebikes.co.uk.